Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Inknell. Today in this short video, I'm going to go through a quick get started guide for Google Meet. Google Hangouts is a video conferencing software that anyone who has a Google account can use. But if you use G Suite, like many schools do, you have access to Google Meet, which has more features and the ability to have more users in your call. So let's get into it and you'll be able to start using it in no time. To begin using, all you have to do is log in to your Google or G Suite account. Like most Google applications, Google Meet is integrated into many of their other software like Gmail and Google Calendar. But you can also access Meet at meet.google.com. You can see that the interface is very clear and pretty simple to use. You can join meetings or start your own from here, and below it, it will show all of your scheduled meetings. Right now, you can see that I don't have any meetings scheduled, so we can just go ahead and get that changed. To schedule meetings, you have two different options. You can schedule a meeting within Google Calendar, or you can create an instant meeting right on this page. We do recommend scheduling your classes in advance so that all the setup is complete before your class begins. So if we head over into Google Calendar, we can just create a new event like normal. Click Create up in the corner, or just click on the calendar in the correct time and date that you want your meeting. Now we can give the class a title and set the date and time. If you're using Google Classroom, you can add your students here. Otherwise, you can just share the link for the class later. So the most important part of setting this meeting is here. To ensure that it is a video conferencing class, we just click here to schedule the event with Google Meet. Now you can see the URL to join the virtual meeting. You can copy and paste this link into an email for your students, post it in your learning management system, or you can send it to your students through a different communication platform. Students just need to click the link to join your class when it's time. The last part of our setup is over here in the more options. I will uncheck the ability for my students to invite others. Now that you have the event set up, let's get into the meeting. Let's check out the options and the features Google Meet has for you during your meeting. The platform is pretty simple, so you shouldn't have too many issues with it. When it's time, you can either click on the event in your calendar, or you can also join by inserting the meeting ID or the nickname at meet.google.com. You can see that the meeting we scheduled now appears here on the side. Before you join the meeting, you can choose to enter the meeting with your camera on or off, and to see how many people are in your meeting. If you want to begin sharing your screen right away, you can also do that. For now, let's just join without presenting. When your students want to join the call, you will see a pop-up so that you can admit them into the class. Only admit those who are in your class and your organization. Once they're in the meeting, you will be able to see them on the screen. At the bottom of the screen, you have a toolbar, and the far left of that toolbar has your meeting information and any attachments that you added from your calendar invite. The three different buttons in the middle of the toolbar at the bottom of the screen allow you to mute your mic, end the call, or to turn off your video. When the mic and camera buttons are red, you know that those tools are turned off. When they are white, they are on and in action. Over to the right, there is a live caption button. This amazing tool transcribes what you are saying in real time 
into text for your students to follow along easier or if they're in a location where the audio isn't able to be all the way up. The last menu gives you some more customizable options for your call. The change layout feature is pretty unique so that you can choose how you would like to view your students. At the top of the screen, you can see a people button and a text bubble button. Here is where you can see a list of your student names and chat with them. Now that you are familiarized with the interface, we can begin teaching by sharing our screen. Here, Google gives you the ability to share your screen with your students. You have three different options to share your screen. One is to choose to share your whole desktop, which is recommended so that everything you do, your students will also be seeing. Second is to just share a certain window of an open application or third, you can share a certain tab in Google Chrome. For demo purposes, I will share my whole desktop. When you begin sharing, you will see that everything will look the same for you, but now your students will also be able to see what you are seeing. It is pretty simple, not a whole bunch of changes or extra tools like in Zoom and in Teams. At the top in the participant tab, you are able to mute the student's mic so that there are no distractions to others while you are speaking. You can also open up the chat to communicate with your students during the call. They can reach out to you here with any questions or concerns during the class as well. When you're ready to be done, just click stop sharing and the call will resume back to your video full screen. Google Meet is a great online teaching tool for video conferencing because of its simple interface and integration with Google Classroom. But because of its simplicity, the current version is lacking some security controls. So I'm gonna go ahead and mention a few so that you guys are aware of them. Okay, so first, for example, your students will be able to present their screen with any window they like whenever they want. So there's no way for you to disallow this. Another one is that students are the only ones that can unmute themselves. So this can get pretty tiresome for you if a pesky student keeps turning on their mic. So you have to keep going back to turn it off. When you want to end a meeting completely, you must wait for all of your students to leave the call. Otherwise, students are able to rejoin at any time, even after you have left. So because of all of these, if you are looking for an alternative platform to use, you can always check out Zoom or Microsoft Teams. For a quick get starter on those two platforms, you can check out our tutorial videos below. Nevertheless, Google Meet is still a great tool because of the easiness to use and for those who use Google Classroom and all of Google's other applications. Again, I'm Sarah from Inkno and thank you guys for watching.